Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, we're gonna show you our process of setting up an Instagram carousel in Canva. So with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into it. Let's go. If you're not familiar with Canva, this is considered Canva here, right? And how we how we usually set up our our I'm gonna show you how we our projects that we have, and then I'm gonna show you how we set our pro or how you set up a new project. So we have a a previous project that we're working on. So say we want to create an Instagram carousel, like, and this one covers like brand style guide. Like, what is a brand style guide? These are part of our creator tips on our Instagram. And if you're not following us on Instagram, it's di at Digital Rim uh, at in on Instagram, so you can follow us there. But creator tips, right? Brand style guide, like what it is. And then the next page it shows it as you know as the definition and then you know you go to the next page and it's kind of like you want to learn more so essentially that's like the that's like the if you want to say the journey of a carousel now you can put up to 10 different images inside of this inside of this carousel so in essence if you want to duplicate this page you can just duplicate it and it'll create another page so now we have four page two page three page four, but we only need three, right? So essentially this is how you, this is how you set it up or set up the pages and then you wanna hit share, you know, download. Share it and download and it'll say download the, download this PNG and you go ahead and download this PNG and it'll save it to your machine and then you can post it. Like however you do your file management, you can send it to your phone, you can send it to your cloud, you can you can post it directly, you can actually post it directly from um, from you can post it directly from Canva as well. So you can go right here and post it directly from Canva. So let's say we want to post it to Instagram, you can just hit the Instagram here and it'll post it there, right? Now if you have the premium account, you can schedule your post. So that's when you get your premium account. So with that being said, we're just gonna go back into this and we're gonna start from scratch, like how to set up, how to set up a design just like this. So with that being said, that was a quick run through. Now we're gonna just like, as if we're creating this from, from scratch. So what you wanna do, you can do this one of two ways. You can hit these, you can see you have all of these different, if you wanna call them templates that are set up for you. But basically these templates are the layout of your actual, the layout of your actual graphic or video, whatever the case may be, it's already laid out for you. So you can simply select, if you don't know it, select like what you want. So create a blank Instagram post. Instagram posts are usually square, so it's 1080 by 1080. But you can create a design if you don't know this, but if you are new, to, and more than likely, if you're using Canva, you're new to aspect ratios and things like that. So you just go find what you're creating for, right? And we're creating for Instagram, a square post. And you see you have all of these different options here as well. These are little templates that you can use to create your post. But we're just gonna we're just gonna start like if we're just building this from scratch. All right. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and add some elements. If you see on this left on this left side, these are all your elements. Like this is your design where you can get a template. But these are all your elements that you can put inside of your post. So, so let's say we want to put, you know, let's say we want to put some fo a photo in here let's find some photos so see all let's find some photos and if we don't find what we want you can just search here like technology boom technology photos right and if some of these if you see this crown on here that means you have to have the pro and it's not free. And I wanna see if you can filter that out. No, you can't. So let's just grab an image. Let's say one, uh, I'm 
try to find something that's that's let's do this one all right you just if you need to scale it up so see this white area is your whole canvas being like the actual full aspect ratio of that image. So we want what you want to do is just scale this up to that size at least. Because we want to fill it up. We don't want any white or black space. And I say black space because sometimes if you upload it as a PNG, you might it just depends. Right? Boom. We're gonna put something about like this. And again, right here, you're just thinking of composition like this, just the hands doesn't make as much sense as we want to see okay what are they what are the hands doing what is this what is the focal point and the focal point are the hands but the the computer is a secondary if you want to call it a secondary focal point so you want the computer there and then you have these if you want to call these third third area of interest being like the the pen and the notepad so the hands one Computer two, pen notepad three. That's the like hierarchy of this image that you know that I come with. So you want to try to include all three of them. Keeping in fact, keeping in mind, again, this is going into design stuff, but keeping in mind the rule of thirds. So on this third, we're keeping all that there. On this third, it's mostly laptop, and the center is almost getting everything here. So we're just gonna keep it in mind for as composition. Now I'm also noticing there's a lot of empty space here. Either we could put text there or we can we can do something like this, make this a lot bigger. Like so. And then have the text like fill in right there. Yeah, let's do something like that. That feels more dynamic, like we're up home. All right, so now that we have the photo in there, essentially it's gonna be our background. You wanna add some more elements. So just go to elements here. Now, let's just go down a list of what the element, different elements you have. You can set up, set up your brand hub, you know, where you can put all your logos, your color palettes, your fonts, your the types of photos you would use in your graphics and your icons and things like that. Very, very important, especially if you are if you are a brand and you want to establish that consistency. So this is one of the things that's defined in a style guide. Why it's very, very important. But once you define in a style guide, you implement these into your into your brand hub here. So now you have all the elements you need to build out your graphic, right? You can upload your assets. So anything that you have, you can upload. So let's say we want to upload one of one of. Let me put this here. Let me turn this around here. Let's say you want to upload, you know, one of these assets here. I'm trying to figure out one that we that let's just do digital drum. Even though these are the old ones. But let's just do this. Boom. This one we already uploaded. Boom. Right? Now, one thing that I noticed, like, and this is one of the things that a lot of beginner, if you want to call it designers, but not necessarily designers, but business owners, one of the mistakes that they make is contrast. They don't consider contrast. So, in essence, this, the REM of this is getting lost in the background. So, it's making it hard to see. So, we need to, in a way, find a way to make the contrast more. So one of the ways you can do that is by grabbing the grabbing the background. And let's say we want to go here and this is transparency where the little boxes are and we could just turn that transparency down. Now, what we did essentially is brighten this image up. So anything that's not dark is going to pop off of it. So now, boom, got it just like that. Right. So that's if you have image or you you have elements that you've created, you've designed that you want to upload. Right. You have text. So we're going to add some text here. I'm 
I personally like I like text that is just bold and just straight to the point, right? And you can just line your text up just like this. Now we can get we can get rid of this logo. We don't have to have this logo. Or we can do something like this. Boom. We just brand the brand the text. So the main thing is the text is the is the main element and then the we're branding it with our brand, right? So let's let's um I don't know, we have to find I'm like trying to think of something that we can say here. Let's do bold, bold, smooth, smooth. and classy. Bold, smooth, and classy. We can get rid of this. That You can hit delete and just get rid of that. So now you have just this big text. Now, if you see, if you click and drag, you see this that little line that pops in the middle. That shows you're centered horizontally, and you can drag. And if you goes across like this, then that means you're centered vertically. So we just want to mainly be centered horizontally right now. Boom. Right, right. And you can do elements like draw on the screen. So you can, let's say we grab this marker. You can draw stuff like, woo, something crazy like that. Add the eraser to summit. Uh, I thought it would erase out the different elements, but I guess not. Something like that. You can get creative with it. Um, let's continue on projects again, projects are again, and what you've already, already established. So this essentially is a project. You can add apps to it. So you have all of these different apps that you can add to it. So we're not going to go too far into that. We just want to keep it how to create a design. So we're just going to stay with the elements. So we're just going to add some more elements here. Now the carousel, the thing about a carousel, you want it to where it scrolls. So it's going to scroll from this image to the next image to the next image. So let's give the viewer a prompt. So let's say this arrow, we want to scroll this way. But when scrolling, it scrolls. You want them to swipe with their finger the other way. So let's say you want to rotate this. You just grab this little anchor right here that has the arrows. And you just hold it, flip it around. Click and hold. Now, if you want to snap it, hold down Oh, I was saying hold down shift, but I guess it, that's a Photoshop thing, I guess. So you have to do 180. Just calculate 180. Oops, I didn't want to jump to that yet. But calculate 180, and boom. And you can lay these things out however you want, however you like. So we're just going to keep it real big. Real, real big. All right, let's see what other other things we can pull up here. Here's an interesting one I've never seen before. So it's saying like, swipe, like it's telling you to swipe left. So you can use this one too. But say you, li you like the icon, but the color isn't right. You can change the color by going up here where it has the black box and it says color. And you can change this color to whatever color you want. Right? I'm gonna keep it at, again, keeping keeping in mind that that contrast. I'm gonna keep it at black. All 
right right let's see what else we got here um audio is not necessarily necessary for a carousel i think that's good we're just gonna we're gonna not make this too long so boom i'm gonna just center make sure this is even center more because even though even though it snaps right here what i'm looking at is the margin from here from this line to here from this line to here and this line to here is a lot bigger so what I'm gonna do is center it by eye and this looks closer to the center to me actually a little to the right this looks closer to center if we factor in this edge and this edge that space between those two should be good so then after that you just hit share hit share Go to download. You know, it's going to ask you what you want to download. Oh, before we even do that, I forgot. So now we want to say, now we want to do the carousel part. That's how to create your first post. But in the carousel, it's multiple posts so or multiple images. So as you scroll, it creates multiple images. So what you want to do is duplicate this page. And that's going to duplicate everything from the previous page. And we're just going to do two pages. Uh, learn more. At digitalram.com. All right. So let's say you see how this this doesn't match what we had before. So let's say we need to change some of these elements. So let's leave learn more. Like learn leave learn more. Learn more at leave that the same. Boom. You can copy and paste. So you can push uh, Control C Control V, or you can just hit this duplicate right there. We're going to do digitalrim.com here. All right. Now, one thing you probably noticed, this is way too big. So in order to change the size of it, you go up here and just knock the size of this down. Like so. Boom. Now you can send one thing I like to do, especially when it's like this, I like to center it. So you can center alignment. All of the all of the all of the um just like Word document, all of the things will be right here. So if you want to control an element, you just look right here and it'll show you how you can control that element. So we're gonna learn more at digitalrim.com. One of the other things I also like to do. is make sure, let's do this learn more at. It's squared off, so again, line this D up with that M and that A up with that T, I mean M on this side, so it's like squared off in a way. Boom, just like that. Now that it's squared off, I'm gonna just Make this smaller. Boom. Just like that. I like that. I'm going to do this. Coding is the future. Coding is the future. Boom. Learn more at digitalrim.com. So 
let's say we have this element, these two elements, and when you go on Instagram, it's gonna swipe, 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 and it's gonna go from one to the other. So you can do multiple of these, again, create, essentially creating a story or a journey for whoever's swiping. So you can say coding is the future. Let's, let's do one more, let's do this. Coding is the future. This is a, this is a key tip for all of everybody in the Creator Academy, right? We're gonna do, well, let's just, let's not do the key tip. Yeah, let's do the key tip. Let's go to chat GPT, right? Okay. Actually. Hit new chat, boom. Tell me five reasons why coding, learning how to code is important. Job opportunities, problem solving skills, creativity, innovation, understanding technology, future proofing your career. All right, so let's say we want to just boom. It's how we do this. So I'm a duplicate. I'm oh, we already duplicated, huh? So I'm gonna just do this, boom, boom. Make this smaller. Center this now. Center that, make it smaller. Let's do the 80, I think that's good. Boom, make that smaller like that. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that again. Make sure it's centered, and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the definition now and put it in that part. All of this needs to be smaller, and I would even change the change the weight of the font. So we're gonna change this down to like 24, 25. Let's do 24. Increase the increase the spacing. Boom. And just center it. This one you can have centered vertically. Like that. Boom. All right. This text looks a little small. Let's go 30. Yeah, let's go 30. All right, so we could just duplicate this one again. Now, we already have the we already have the layout for just drop copy and pasting straight here. We got Problem solving skills. Boom. Boom, boom. We got duplicate that one. We got creativity and innovation. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. We got understanding technology. Boom. We gotta duplicate that. Boom. 
copy the definition. Or to copy the description. I don't know if it's a definition or a description, whichever one you want to call it. Wow. One more. Future proofing your career. Boom. Boom. Just like that. All right, so now you have all of the elements. Now you have one, two, page, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you have seven images that you're going to go to share, download, and hit download, right? And you can, you can share it however you want to. Or you, if you have the premium, you want to schedule it. So you just schedule, set it up to schedule this post to go out whenever it's time for it to go out. So boom. Um, and I'm assuming you could schedule it, you know, your Facebook, I mean, Instagram stories or whatever the case may be, however, however it goes. So. That being said, that's essentially how you would set that up. You can share it, upload it, however you upload your, currently upload your reels, or not reels, upload your uh, carousels or images to Instagram and allow you to create this carousel. So they'll be able to swipe, swipe, swipe uh, through the, all of the things and then get the call to action at the end that says, hey, learn more at digitalrim.com. Simple as that. All right, I'm going to do that one more time. All right, so boom, there it is. You got to see how we use Canva to create our Instagram carousels. It's really that simple. But again, this is like a, if you want to call it an introductory, the training wheels to actual design. So a lot of the stuff that we cover in the in Creator Academy are Photoshop focused, but this is great for a business owner who just wants to get started with creating content and getting things out there. Again, the Photoshop way allows you to get a lot more creative with your designs and things like that they help your create carousel be more um engaging but with that being said hopefully this inspires you to do that one thing that takes you close to your goals more than anything go to digital rem.com that's digital rem.com and join the waitlist for um creator academy webinar but if you are a business owner that is interested in, in having us support your marketing initiative. If you don't want to really focus on creating the uh, creating the content, but you need somebody to help you create marketing material for your business, and you want to focus solely on growing your business, you can reach out to us again at digitalrem.com and put in a service request at digitalrem.com where we can help you with supporting your brand and help you with some making content for your brand. So with that being said, hopefully this inspires you to do that one thing that takes close your goals either requesting that we do services for you or learning how to do services for yourself by joining the creator academy webinar and essentially joining the creator academy so that being said hopefully this inspires you to do that one thing all you have a blessed day later y'all peace